Okay, well, I guess we're gonna get going here. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome and thanks again for joining us uh, for another webinar um, made possible by YAC Media. Uh, you have a very special guest joining us to talk about education and development of coaches. Um, it's a discussion that I feel very relevant to several of us that you know want to get into academic coaching or the professional face of the game. So. Um, before we get into it, uh, please again make sure your microphone is on mute uh, throughout the webinar so that way we can hear uh, each other speak perfectly. Um, and then at the end, we would open it up for, for questions as well. And again, please try and keep your questions as close to the topic as you can. Um, and just a reminder that this webinar will be recorded and I'll make it uh, possible uh, for you guys to replay again back in. So, uh, let's get into it. Uh, very excited and pleased to have Goran Bajaktarabic join us today. Uh, Goran is currently the head coach of Ghana Premier League side, um, Legon Cities FC, and he's been in charge since uh, December 2019. Uh, Goran, thanks for accepting our invitation. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Okay, good. Thanks for the invitation. Perfect. All right, uh, let's get after it. Um, I think it just makes sense to start with asking how you are doing, how you're keeping up in these uh, difficult times. Yeah, it's really difficult time, you know, because it's especially difficult uh, because, you know, when the people ask you, uh, is this break good for football or not, you know, uh, I say no. <laughs> but uh, uh, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, all of them, they don't uh, understand what I mean with this, you know, always you have to explain. Yeah. Because, you know, if you, if you, if you have a break, three, four months, you know, and, and have, has no possibility to, to practice with the players. Right. When right. you, when you get a permission to start, you know, then uh, it's a pretty great job to do, you know, because you have to, you have to pull them back. Not, not only, you know, physically, yeah. mentally too, because you know they, they have this uh, distance already. You know, and that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Again, we all are hoping that this gets passed soon. Um, let me begin by asking you this: uh, if you can talk to how you you got into coaching and how you prepare yourself uh, for a job like this, um, both formal and informal education. Yes, I mean I. You know, I, I had one uh, specific situation. Um, I was born and grew up in one country which uh, was not in uh, United Euro in European Union. You know? And you have uh, laws in European Union that uh, completely education, your private education, what you have, uh, it's not uh, recognized uh, if you come from one country like this. And then, you know, after, after my career, I, I got in one situation, you know, I, I wanted to, to implement myself totally in this society, you know, to live just normal because, you know, I, I'm a citizen, citizen of Germany since 2000. And uh, uh, then, you know, I was, I was thinking, I mean, actually, my, my real plan wasn't uh, like to, you know, necessarily coach. Okay. And... Uh, and then, then, you know, I started to think uh, how to do this, what to do, you know, and then, then I decided to make, uh, uh, to start to make education for the coach in Germany. And I started in nine, uh, 98, I made uh, straight the B license in Germany because, you know, it was the revolution in this country. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure if it's still like this, but then in this time it was like this. If you play as a professional longer than seven years, it, you can go straight to the B license. Right. And then I made this B license, and then you know, then for the next step, from the next uh, next level for the A license, uh, you have to be the, the head coach of uh, one um, first team, like you know, like uh, until the third division mm -hmm. means fourth fourth division. In Germany, and one year you have to work as a coach of a youth team. And two, these two years I did it. Yeah. I found one club in this division, and then I was there in this uh, in this four division club. I was a player coach at the same time. 
And then, um, then I did, I worked from time to time with the youth. And then like, you know, I get this uh, testimony from the club that I did both, uh, both things. And uh, then I made a license, 2000. Okay. And then, you know, then, then again in Germany, you have, a, you have these regulations. If you want to go to this uh, professional academy to make this professional license, mm. Uh, you have to make something similar, you know, like to be the head coach of, of third division club or the highest level uh, junior team under 90. And then, you know, in, in this region where I was living, uh, in this time, we didn't have third division club. And I was co strong connected to this region because I, I got, a, got my son, you know, he was born. And, uh, you know, it was Mool and my wife and, you know, and everything. And uh, then I took this under 90 club the highest division in Germany. Yeah. And I worked there four years. Gotcha. And then, you know, I got a, I got a place on, uh, on, you know, I got a place on the Academy for the Professional License. It was 2005, I was ready, I was finished with it. December 2005. No, no. And then, you know, then you start to, when you start to work in this job, you know, then, um, then it's not only, uh, you know, your, your job as a coach or team or manager of one team, you know, it's not only on the pitch. There are a lot of things around, you know. Then, then I saw that, uh, that I'm supposed to, to make some kind of education, you know, for this, this job around. And uh, then I, I made, I study uh, sports economy in University Düsseldorf, And I finished this uh, 2008. And, uh, you know, all this to complete, to complete my knowledge, you know, to be independent in this job as much as possible. You know. And then after that, the last thing what I did, uh, 2000, um, uh, 2019, last year, I finished my study, psychology study, and now I'm, I'm psychologist too. Right. So that, uh, you know, I mean, I, it wasn't, you know, in, uh, in big professional clubs, you, everywhere you have a psychologist. I you know just to be able to work on the best way together with psychologists, uh, because, you know, I'm on the pitch. As a coach, I'm on the pitch. I have to see, you know, I have to see, I have to be able to, to recognize some, uh, some situations, you know, they could be, maybe they could have this uh, negative uh, emotional development or stuff like this, you know. And then I did this. And uh, yes, in between, you know, I was, uh, I, I, I did different jobs as a coach, as a, as a sports director in, in some clubs, you know, and, and then I was 2060, 2070, you know, German Football Association, they sent me to China mm. because uh, they had one uh, contract with, uh, Chinese Football Association is FI, I think. Uh, they they um, uh, about education of coaches. Yeah, yeah. And then I was uh, I was their docent, guest docent on on university in Wuhan, <laughs> there where is the <laughs> coronavirus, you know. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes, the, the hometown of coronavirus, you know, I was there, I was there on, because they have their, the biggest sport university in China. Yeah. And uh, even in their, in their education, they, they organized the faculty, uh, you know, one special uh, department for football, football coaches, you know, and I was, I was working there. And... Uh, uh, after after this this contract expired, you know, I I came back, you know, because okay. that's, you know, that was you know like uh, education of professional coaches. Some of them they are now coaches in first and second division there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, after that, you know, there was uh, I, I got one, you know, one, one offer from Thailand in the Premier League too, first division. The the Premier League it's Toyota Toyota League. Mm. It was one club, you know, there I was, I was working with, uh, he was in this moment, he was the sport director of this club, sport director of the national team, and now he is vice president of uh, of Football Association of Thailand. Gotcha. And that was, that was one job, you know, like uh, very specific, uh, because, you know, because of, because of this old, old 
this way how they how they watch football how they work in football you know this approach this mindset and and anyway i did my did my part what uh, what we agreed in the beginning then i came back to germany you know and then then came this uh, this story with the uh, with the uh, we are all stars uh, one big uh, agency i know the boss of this agency in germany he asked me if I if I would do this, and in the beginning, you know, I I, I wasn't uh, so sure that I that I really take this. And then, you know, we spoke. It was about one month. Yeah. Here and there, you know, and then then you know then then because I know that he is a confident person, you know, he's serious, and he promised me that everything is okay and everything is like really like um, like they said and. Uh, yeah. You know, they, he t- he told me this concept like development, new club in the league, you know, and yeah. everything. And on this way, I came here. Gotcha, gotcha. Good. Uh, I would want us to to delve into um, the German uh, coaching education program. I've heard some pretty exciting stuff. Um, but before we get to that conversation, um, I want to take you back to when you first planned and executed your first coaching session. How do you think coaching has changed from then and now? Uh, you mean you mean that now differences between yeah. between work way of working then and now? Yeah. Uh, I have to tell you, it's um, you know it depends of of the place of the region where you work. In Germany, for example, when I started to work, you know, it was it was more like um, there was you know. Uh, they was used to uh, to take with this mentality of the players, you know, this uh, this you know this, this national culture and approach to to every job, you know. Uh, and you know, German German players uh, before, you know, they were they were like you know orientated to play one against one, you know, very tough, very hard, you know, very responsible, you know, very serious, and, uh, and they, you know, they. They could really buy through, you know. Like they, they played really 90 minutes, you know. And if, if it's uh, if it's necessary, like uh, 122. And uh, and this is this is uh, exactly the way how the coaches worked with them, you know. It was it was like like you know give them the ball, like you know tell what you want, you know. We played defensively. They will they played this this uh, simple. Uh, you know, with the uh, Livero to yeah. to to marker, you know, to two defenders from front of you know, right back, left back, you know, then midfield, you know, and then strikers and stuff like. That. Yeah. And uh, 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 I mean, it, from this period, I can tell you nothing. It was uh, that the most important thing is was to have one good individual, good player. You know, it wasn't uh, this uh, um, uh, high tactics. Uh, like, like we we do this uh, since 2000 later. You know? Yeah. Because in 2000, uh, German German football national team uh, realized uh, you know big problems. You know they they didn't qualify for for European Championship. You know what what was you know terrible for, for Germany. And then you know we decided to to change this way of education. You know. To, to change the way of, of playing, of practicing, of everything, you know, and then then we switched. Uh, we we got the a message like you know all of us and the members of the German Football Association. Mm. Uh, we got a we got from this uh, education center uh, the message like we want to play with the four defenders in line. And practically, I mean, I. You know, when I, when I say something like this, it sounds a little bit, you know, too too much. But you can check it. Uh, the first team who played the championship with the four defenders in Germany, it was my under-90 team. <laughs> what is that? We were, we were my, my under-90 team. What is I, what I, What's the name of the team? Uh, VfB Oldenburg. VfB Oldenburg, okay. That, that was, you know, before it was in second division. Now they are a little bit, a little bit down, fourth, I think. And, but uh, we, um, the first team who played competition with four defenders, 
Mm. It was my team. And, you know, people for, for I, I remember, people from Verda, Verda Bremen, you yeah. know, the first team, coaches and all, all technical stuff, they came to our game to see how to play this. And uh, then, then you know, they it was for them. It was embarrassing to ask me how to how to organize this. You know, then they then they brought three guys from Ajax Amsterdam to teach them how to prepare this. <laughs> but did, that you, was that. Sorry. To teach you how to play, you said, or to learn how how you Im implemented that. No, I mean, I teach. To, I, I I could I could show them how to implement this. I mean, right. you know, it's, it's, it's not a. But they didn't want me to, to show them because, you know, I work in the club from the second division right. and they are, the, they are Bundesliga. And, you know, one coach from second division come, comes to, to Bundesliga to show to the coaches how to implement uh, four defender in one line. <laughs> it, it was, it was not, uh, not so good for them, you know. Yeah. At least they, they, was, they, were, they, 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 they thought on this way. And then you know they, they invited three guys, three coaches from Ajax Amsterdam to show. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Um, you, again, you you doing you were giving us your background here. You mentioned um, that you had to skip uh, some of the grassroots courses because of your playing experience. Um, and we've seen some coaches, not only in Europe but in, in Africa as well, where coaches are fast tracked into higher coaching positions uh, because of their playing experience um, without getting, you know, the required knowledge and experience at the youth or developmental phases. Uh, yeah, now, I know, what are, I understand. You know. yeah. what are your thoughts on that now? Is that something that you would, uh, you would recommend that they do or is that something that you think? Uh, Listen, very seldom, very seldom one player can do this. Very seldom, I mean successfully. You can do this, I, I told this, I think, uh, today in, uh, in television, <laughs> because I, I've got this, the same question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you can, you can do this only, uh, only in this case, if you have very strong technical team. You know? If you have very, I don't know, very, very experienced and good educated uh, fitness coach, you know, coach assistant with big experience, you know, I don't know, stuff like that. If you don't have this, you know, it's it's it's. I, I I compare this with one rock band. You know, yeah. you can you you have a rock band. You know, the singer mm -hmm. he looks good, like you know he is uh, he looks sexy for the young girls, you know, <laughs> but he cannot sing. Yeah. And then the the band has to cover him. You know, <laughs> you understand <laughs> the, I, through yeah. the quality of the band. You know, they have to cover him. You understand? That's the same story. Blame it. I mean, I I don't want to underestimate, but it's very seldom that one coach. I mean, you have you have very good uh, very good example in uh, at Chelsea now. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's very seldom that one one player straight from his you know football boots can because those are those are different perspectives. Yeah. I yeah. mean, everybody who who works as a coach one two seasons at least he knows this because yeah. you know as a player you watch your your performance you 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 care about yourself you know and your your perspective is like you know from me mm -hmm. to other you know like understand yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, and and first first myself but as a coach you know you you have to you have to care about everything you know have to you have to see every you know like you know, I mean, okay, guys, they know this. I mean, I don't say something, something new, but it's it's like this, you know. But but exactly this this team in this uh, in this group, yeah, is the is the highest for the players who came straight from the field to be coach. Gotcha, gotcha. This team. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let me let me ask you this: it's still on uh, on the coaching crosses here. Yeah. Uh, you you took your UFO Pro with uh, the DFB. Um, I've had all my courses with uh, the United States Federation. I somehow feel that coaching courses um, are somehow artificial. Um, there is this sense of trepidation. Uh, sometimes you second guess yourself um, and it can be quite intimidating. Uh, if there is one thing that you, th you think you, you would change or add in the coaching courses, what would that be? 
uh, excuse me now, now what you what you mean exactly because you know I have to know exactly what you mean to tell you this you know now now I, well, again, you know, I when, have a few when, ideas yeah you know when when you attend coaching courses I don't know what the UEFA Pro uh, coaching environment looks like um, <clears> yeah. almost like you have to do what the instructor wants almost like uh, doing to his subjective ideas for yeah. you to pass the course do you feel that you know, being in an environment like that and enhances your development, or you think that something needs to be yes, changed? I'll tell you. I'll tell you something to compare. Now I know what you mean exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are a lot of lot of guys. You know, who I think I I, I told this too, <laughs> but never mind. Um, um, lot of guys they think you know like they have a training plan of some coach from before who was successful. You know. Yeah. Like I take the plan now, I have a knowledge. You know, has no chance. There's no chance. The same stuff is, you know, this like you know, if instructors, if they only say what you have to do, you know, how we start, for example, in in, uh, in Germany, how we start education for the coach. They they give you the tickets for for one Bundesliga game. Mm-hmm. You go there, and you watch. You may make scouting, you know, you have to, you have to make, uh, make, you know, you, you have to write down yeah. how they play, you know, both teams, you know, tactically this and that, you know, like, yeah. like, you know, uh, strength and, and weaknesses and, and, and what you would do, you know, and stuff like this. And then you, you, you come there and you tell all this. Okay. Understand? And on this way you start, sorry, it's my, uh, on this way you start, you start with, uh, with education, you know. And uh, and I think I think uh, then you know they can they can recognize uh, those uh, you know those teachers there you know they can recognize how um, how far you are yeah yeah what's, what's really your, your level what's your what's your uh, you know way of thinking you know and they they are they are very experienced people you know and they they can, they can see this immediately you know and but if uh, I think if if they start always, you know, just to give you input, to, to like to to make program in your head, yeah, what you are supposed to do, uh, then it's uh, I'm I'm not I'm not quite sure that uh, that the coaches that they can develop themselves, you know, on this way, I'm not quite sure, because like in football, you know, you can you can practice with the team, you know, in training everything. Yeah. But you know, uh, in the game, you always get a little bit different situation. You know? The player he has recognized this, and he must must have this creativity to solve this situation. You cannot uh, teach him, you know, like like uh, everything hundred percent how to do this, 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 and that. Right. He always have to change something. That's why you know, this is my opinion. Is you know that always the coaches when they make a decision, they, just, they must have some free space, you know, to. Right. to Right. You know, to, 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 to give that touch of their personality to all this what they do. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and again, we've, uh, I've heard so much about uh, the, the DFB courses. Um, I, I also heard uh, you, you have to submit about 800 hours of coursework. Um, that's almost like three times what uh, the English mm-hmm. FA is requiring coaches to do. Um, but why do you think most, again, of the young brilliant coaches that are upcoming are all getting educated with the DFB. Do you think it's because of the course structure or is there anything different that we don't know? Uh, listen, listen uh, um, uh, if, you, if you are there in this, in this education of German Football Association, you know, it's, I mean, I really, I have to say this on this way because I had an example, mm-hmm. people who, who were sitting with me, you know, in the, in the classroom, there, you know, and then, you know, our professor for physiology, you know, he writes us everything, you know, those principles, how to, to develop, you know, different, different, you know, possibilities of body, you know, muscles you know, yeah. and stuff like this. And you get everything. You know. And then one guy who was coached from San Pauli, he was sitting in, from Hamburg, he was sitting next to me in the second division. Coach. He was sitting next to me, you know, and he asked professor, yeah, okay, but can you write me one program how I can work? You understand? Yeah. Because, because he, he is not able to, 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 to recognize what's there. You know? I mean, that's why I say, uh, if you reduce me only on coach, of, or if you reduce yourself only on coach, you lost. 
uh, education of football coach today must be uh, you know much wider much yeah. wider you must know you must know much more things than only you know 433 three, i don't know 442 four, you know like dribbling like this you know trap the ball in this way you know shoot on this way that's not enough definitely not enough you know that's that's why that's why i'm you know it's uh, it's it's personal it's personal yeah you cannot promise to somebody you listen now you are coach you will have a success it's not possible gotcha uh, obviously there are, there were certain things that for you know it's required of a modern coach um that's not covered in coaching courses you know some like how to deal with the media you know how to address the public how to we uh, have this we have this sorry I mean, we have this we have this in germany we we had this you know i had very very serious education you know like you know, okay how to talk what to say how to behave front of front of the cameras you know um and 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 but again i'm telling you you know, you, you you can pass through all this education but if you are not if you are not aware of it uh, how important is this for this job yeah, yeah. Uh, then you lose i i can i can tell you i can tell you honestly you know uh, i i made this all. and then you know i got in one situation one period in, in, in my career you know i was doing all i did opposite from them what i know that i'm not supposed to do you know because you know sometimes you have to learn to control yourself right right <laughs> You know, because you know, sometimes, sometimes you know, you you get you get those provocation from everywhere, even even from the club. You know, yeah. the club want to suck you, but you know they they need a reason. You know, and then they provocate. You know, I see. and then you you must be aware of it. You know, then they organize. I mean, I'm telling the the truth. Then they organize because we, they have very good relationship with media. That media start to shoot on you. You know, never mind if they lie or not, or but they do this. You know, and then. Uh, and then you know, as a normal, healthy person, uh, you you watch, say, what's what's the matter with them? Are, are they are, are they crazy or what? You know. And then you you come in one situation, you know, like you you get aggressive, and this is exactly what you cannot do. I did it. I mean, I I say now because of my experience. You know, I had only enemies everywhere, <laughs> and that's not good as a coach. You know, you are, <laughs> you are always like you know like they they can shoot you down. Yeah. How they want. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's pretty funny. Um, so look again. Uh, you're the head coach in a progressive environment. Uh, you know the day-to-day -day decisions are all based on your experience, and sometimes your your assistants, if you happen to have one. Um, how do you ensure that your assistant coaches continue to to develop themselves as well? This is one procedure, you know, the best, the best way. Now, guys, all who hear this, sorry, uh, uh, the best way to be sure that you that you can implement your plan. The best way is to have your your team, your coaching coaching staff with you, you know, and to to work. All time, even if you are, if you are without club, you know, uh, to 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 keep in touch and contact with these people, you know, to talk, to to analyze, to to you know, to, to watch watch games, you know, prepare, you know, like video video material for for the for the next step for the next job, because uh, you know sometimes sometimes it's simply not possible. You know, you have uh, you have uh, I mean it's not here. It's everywhere in football. Clubs they have their coaches like you know, their coaches, they are there. You know they have a they, their task is you know just to talk what coach said here, what coach what coach did there. You know it, it's funny, it's, it's kiddy stuff, but it's like this. It's really the truth. It's reality. Yeah, yeah. And and then you know and then you you have to you have to try to 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 work with them. You know to to explain them first. You know and then you you but anyway you always have to talk a lot with your with your. With your technical team, never mind if it's if it's a physiotherapist or or the guy who is cleaning the dressing room or or driver from the bus, you know, or or, or coach assistant or goalkeeper coach or now no, especially. Uh, but uh, you have to talk to them because you know all of them who are able who have a uh, who get in touch with the players, mm -hmm. uh, they can destroy you all the spirit of the team, you know. 
And this is, uh, that's, why, that's why I say this, this is very sensible, very sensible, sensible part of, of this joke. Gotcha. This uh, this internal you know relationship in the technical yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, where do you go? Obviously, you're not going to have uh, uh, the answers to to the problems. Um, where do you go if you don't have all those answers? What do you do? <sighs> Listen, that's that's always that's always like um, like you know if you have a luck that you have a, that you have a people in the board you know who are ready to hear you know to hear what you say. Uh, who are able to understand, or if you have a guy, you know, who, you know, just they are, they are sure they they invented football, you know, and nobody can do this better than they, you know, they know everything. Like, you know. If you have a bad luck, then uh, then you know, then the best thing is, you know, before before they they shoot you down, you know, you say bye. bye. That's it. That's yeah. my principle, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. my principle. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Um, because when you come, believe me, when you come in this, in this direction, that they start to to do this against you as a coach, you have no chance. Yeah. You can do not better. Even if you if you accept everything what they want, it's not enough. Okay. For sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah it makes sense. Um, let's uh, let's switch gears and talk about uh, uh, science and data and and technology and coaching now. Um, it's almost impossible to coach the modern game without, you know, data or science or, or technology. Now um, we've seen several club embrace analysis uh, using objective information um, to support the decision making. Uh, how will technology impact coaching in, in the future? I think a lot. I mean, not um, not like you know that technology will ever be able to compense one coach, not this not. Mm. But you know, there are a lot of things, a lot of, uh, you know, technical, technical things, you know, they can, they can make it much easier on you. You know, it's simple, simple, like, you know, those, uh, those beeps with, uh, with GPS, you know. Yeah. And you have, uh, you have technology, you know, you, know, they, you can me measure, you know, like, you know, sprints, uh, how, how long they, they, they run. It's, I'm sorry, I keep calling. Um, and uh, uh, you, you can you can you can have this basic data. You know, that's that's for example. Then you know, I mean, uh, like that test, for example, you know, like to to know which level the players have. You know, but, but all this is uh, you know connected with costs. You understand with costs. And then if you have a club who is not ready to invest in this. Then you can dream about this. I mean, for example, I'll, I'll tell you. For example, in Germany now, uh, you you go to second division club or some third division club. They have a people with camera. They are recording the the training, you know. And immediately when the coach says stop, they have a big screen yeah. on the pitch, and they show immediately this situation. He brings the player show, and show him. Look at this. This that. It means this visualization. It's very important. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, some people they they learn learn good when when you tell them. Some people have to see this. Some people have to try this. You know, some some people you have to do, do all of this. You know, to to teach them something. Yeah. And that that's that's for example, you know, like yeah. At uh, at your current job, again, obviously you you're working in a league um, that's a little bit behind uh, the use of technology in the game. Um, what are you doing to to balance that out? Are you trying to implement ways um, that would work for you, or are you just staying away completely from from the use of technology in, in the oh, game? Yes, uh, I'm. Uh, I mean, it's it's always it's always this. Uh, you know, I'm I'm sure now when the guys who are listening, what I'm talking talking about, they they have this information like Lego City Rich Club. I have nothing from this. I have nothing from it. All this, all this stuff. All, I, all what I have, I have my eyes, my experience, and some, some uh, like let's say natural way how to make the test of fitness of players. Mm. It means uh, I know how to work with this, but uh, but I have to use my my knowledge, my experience, and that's all. This is what I'm telling you. I'm just—it's uh, just information how the people do this in Europe, 
because yeah. I did it with yeah. this stuff. Yeah. I worked with this. You know, I, they use a pistol. You know, like you, know, you can you can measure. You know how how fast they are, ten meter, thirty meter, you know, stuff like this. You know, so everything you have, everything, everything what you want. You know, you get it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's much easier to make to to analyze all this. But yeah. here, here I don't have it. Here I don't have it. Okay. I understand. Um, and again, it's find a few questions from me and then I'll, I'll open it up uh, for the rest of the attendees. Uh, I'm going to switch gears to your, your current job at Lego Cities. Um, I'm sure before you, you arrived in, in Ghana, you had an idea or philosophy about how you think the game should be played or thought um, mm -hmm. without having a good idea or good sense of the people or the culture in, in Ghana. Um, how have you adapted to that philosophy of yours to suit your players? Uh, if I'm honest, I I I, I collected a little bit, uh, you know, uh, information because uh, Hans Dieter Schmidt, yeah. he was the coach here before. You know? Yeah, and we are friends. We know each other a long time. You know, he coached uh, my and, brother. Sorry, he coached my brother. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, and he told me. He told me he gave me some some information. You know, how does it uh, how does it run? How does it work out? And then, uh, then I, uh, then I came here. But it wasn't enough, you know, because you have a. I, I, I tell you, you have a people with mindset, with approach. Uh, what's not on this level, you know? What you need to be successful in this division in Premier League, because you know, Premier League in Ghana is very, very specific. You know, you have a, you have. It's my opinion how I see this. You know, you have yeah. Very good, very good individual players. You know, they are. You know, Fast one against one dribbling, you know, like techniques, like you know, yeah. everything is there, you know, they're strong. Uh, but you know, uh, this uh, tactical approach to the game, and you know, they have pretty, pretty lot of uh, tactical homes in their in their football education. You know, so if you, you you know, for example, if you have a player who is who is very very good, you know, fans it, you know, he he makes just a fans it. He doesn't do something, uh, you know, to to support the defense. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this, those are those are things. You know. And then, uh, and then, you know, here still you have uh, some people. You know, you know this old, uh, old case like number ten, yeah. captain. Yeah. He doesn't run too much, but he play the balls. You know, you yeah. understand? Yeah. It doesn't work out anymore. This this kind of players are dead. <laughs> they don't exist in Europe anymore. Yeah, you know? yeah. I agree. And, but you know, the problem is all of those guys. You know, they uh, they dream about like I'm I'm a star player here. You know, I go to Europe, I take the money. No, my friend, you can stay there three weeks. When they see what you do, they'll send you home faster <laughs> than you came. You know, yeah. Uh, that's that that's the point. You know? And then you know when I come to them and say, guys, it doesn't work out on this. Yeah. Uh, we we have to we have to change the selection of the players you know, for, for different for different positions. You know, different profiles of players. You know? That we can be successful, and then you know it takes the time because you know first and how it how was it in my case? I say something, then you know it happens. Then they see that I have a right, and then they say, yeah, okay. Then next one, you know, yeah. and and this was this was the principle, you know, how how those guys how they saw that uh, that I know what I'm talking about, you know. Because you know, I'm I'm telling you, I'm from I I, I, I was born and I grew up in Yugoslavia. The mentality in football in Ghana, in Ghana and in uh, in Yugoslavia is very similar. You know, mm. we were the most, the best. You know, the smartest. Everybody, nobody has idea about football. Only we. You know, nobody can tell me how to play. You know, I know this better. You know, and, and this is this is the problem. There's the problem. There's the problem. This mindset, and you know, but we like I say say to my players, I say guys, you have to start to think on this way. This this you know like like things for children. I mean, uh, it was our case too. You know, we are better. We are better technicians. We are not like you know. We we were proud. Everybody called us uh, white Brazilians in Europe. You know, like. We play against Germany. You know, we lose. We play against Spain, we lose. We play against Italy, we lose. You know, but still we are the best. You understand? <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> but this is 
This is something what I can recognize here in Ghana too. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah. I can, I, I, that, it doesn't mean that those that that's, people are bad players, but they have bad approach. Yeah. You know, bad approach to this job. It's changed long time ago. <laughs> this is what I mean. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, um, I mean, last one for me. Um, um, obviously, com uh, communication is, is a key. It's a key aspect of uh, of your job and, and what we do as coaches. Um, yeah. And as you know, everybody is different in every player. You know how they like the, the information to be delivered. Um, a slightly different approach in, in a slightly different way. Um, but some, what are some of the methods that? you have used uh, to transfer your knowledge uh, to your players? Yeah, well, that's, you know, this is, uh, the, the, now this is education. This is this what I tell you, more than only coach, you know. You must know, you know, this, that you have two principles of, of education, of uh, teaching. You know. That's uh, mental transferency and mental interference. It means, uh, Transparency, if you, this is what you know about football, you know, new knowledge, football knowledge. You have it, but it's not, it's not enough uh, to, to, to play on one good level. We have to change something. We have to improve something. It means to keep your good things, but to improve something in your, in your playing way. And then this procedure of this procedure of, uh, of learning it's uh, transparency transparency it means we may make transfer from this what you know to something more but uh, mental in interference that's the that's the way of learning you know when you uh, when you when you learn something new totally new it's much easier you know this transparency is it's delicate that's why it's delicate to make something new in Ghana because you have a players who are individual good, you know. They have, a, they have a reason to be a little bit arrogant because, you know, they are strong on the ball, you know, they have a technique, they, and this is, uh, you know, this is not easy to, 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 to change their mindset, the way how they think, you know, how they, how they, how they approach the football as yeah. a game. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes, uh, makes uh, total sense here. Yeah. Uh, I think Ruben has a question. I'm going to open it up to him. Ruben, go ahead with your question. Uh, hello, Coach. Uh, thank you so much for your input about the game. And uh, I, I totally agree with everything you're explaining. And uh, for someone who's played in Europe, I could, I, could, I could understand what you're trying to say. So last Christmas, I was in Ghana and I watched your game against the Kotoko at the Kraspo Stadium. Yeah. And... Uh, with what you were explaining, right, um, I could see what you were trying to do against Kotoko, especially when you were up by 1-0. And I could see that uh, it was like lack of discipline how the players allowed Kotoko to get back in the game. So with the way you explain how the Ghanaian player thinks and the attitude, as a coach, as a foreign coach who has to deal with these kind of players, how difficult it, is it for you to try to relay the message to? And also in Ghana, there's also like the way you talk about the superstars, right? Some of them are close to management. You understand what I mean? They are close yeah. to management. Exactly. They are close to management or to the fans. So it feels like they could do. So as a foreign coach who who is trying to bring something new to the league, because obviously if Legon plays well, it changes the whole league. So, as a coach, what do you think is the best way to go to try to get the best out of, out of these players, to change their mentality, their understanding of the game? No, it's, it's a very nice question. Thank you. I mean, you, you, you hit exactly the point, you know, what, uh, what happened against Kotoko. But, you know, you must, have, you must know the previous uh, story. Uh, in, this, in this game, short before this game, we had to change the, the team on three positions because of injuries. You know, this uh, was the first thing. Uh, uh, the second thing is the team was uh, anyway not fit enough to play in, on this level, in this pace, you know, in this tempo, okay. to play longer than, than maybe 35 minutes. Uh, I mean, you played football, you know what does it mean, you know, when you are, when yeah. you are fresh, you know, you go really, you know, go and, and then when you are tired, 
then you know don't play ball to me like you know <laughs> mm-hmm. that's it and it's exactly the, the point you know i came one week before the the championship started you know and they they told me that the, you know great stories like you know everything is you know they are like you know we can beat everyone uh, okay, I, I didn't see this because I really I don't need a long long time to see what's the real situation, you know. But yeah. you know, you always have a have a pro- problem to, to to explain to the people that mm-hmm. they accept this what you are talking about, yeah. because we we have to we have to understand we work in one business, you know. Everybody on the on the tribune, you know, outside yeah. the yeah. stadium, he thinks he knows it better than we do, you know. Yeah. You watch from upstairs, you know. I I'll tell you one joke. I mean, it's no joke, it's the truth. Yeah. One guy in Germany, you know, he approached me and said, you know what, let's bet that I watched more games, football games than you. I said, we don't have to bet, it's the truth. He, he watched <laughs> me like, what are, I say, listen, in this time when you watch the games, I had to play my own games. I couldn't watch, you know. And uh, then later he understood, you know, that, uh, you know, it was... Uh, I, I just wanted to tell him, you idiot, you know, you never, never kick the ball, you know, you want to, you want to talk to, about yeah. football, win. You know? That's why I, I said this on this way. But it's, it's, the, it's the normal way how they think. You know? And that it means the team wasn't fit enough. It didn't, didn't have this fitness level. And, you know, fitness you cannot make in one week. Yeah. yeah. Fitness, this is something you need four to eight weeks. It depends on which level is the team. Yeah. And, uh, and then... Uh, we started. Uh, I mean, I I saw how could I say? We, you know, I, I I knew we have to we have to make make you know close this the, the defense in middle of us and you know uh, be very responsible. You know, to play very close, very tight on on strikers, and that's that's all. And and it 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 worked out. Uh. And then we we made we made some uh, some you know counter attacks, and one of them was one zero. Uh, but and then came out this uh, team without experience. You know, uh, they collected uh, guys from everywhere. Then you know, because of all this problem, uh, uh, we are all stars. You know, and uh, they couldn't play. You know, it was this. Uh, you know, they was punished and stuff like this. They played only friendly matches. You know? And then I don't know one one second division team or first division team. You know, they came in the in uh, the in the week Wednesday uh, and one man. And they came to friendly match, and these boys, you know, they know I have a I have a championship uh, this Saturday or Sunday. You know, I I, I make it easy. You understand? Yeah. And they, you know, they they they, they make the, the power and you know, pressure and you know, and they win. And on this way, they got the impression, you know, they are great. But then happened this uh, this you know this uh, phenomenal of uh, of boxer, you know. I, I, I told this to the one guy and tell him, you know, in America, in America you have those those boxing boxing gyms, you know, uh-huh. like, and they they collect guys on the street, you know, they see a strong guy, you know, like young strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I so they they take him to the gym and say, well, we make world champion out of you, and he works, he is practicing, you know, everything, okay. And then came the first match, you know, uh-huh. and if they don't prepare this match, that he gets one one bad opponent. To get the self confidence, if they if they just get one opponent, real opponent, you know, mm. then he the first punch in his head, mm. he is shocked. Mm. You know, all this what they what they learned, all all this what they told him, he is shocked because you know nobody told him now you get on your on your face, you know. Mm. This is this state of shock. This is this is what this happened to my team. You know? They mm. had to learn in the championship that that. That they are not the best. That this what people are talking around about them, it's not really like this. You know? yeah. And we had a bad luck uh, in the beginning of the championship. You know, we practically we played against strongest team in the league. Yeah, right. I watched the game against Liberty. Yeah, I think first I watched that. We won the game yeah. again. First six seven matches, you know. It was it was it was uh, pretty pretty okay. The first match against Liberty was like you know, but but because of fitness, you know, we uh, scored two goals very fast. Yeah. Two zero, <laughs> and then you know we we were lucky that the referee didn't let us play extra time three four minutes more. You know, we we would lose. It was two uh, two. You know. Uh, 
And you know, that was, uh, that, that's because fitness is not there, you know. Fitness was not there. And uh, many things, you know. And then, you know, of course, what you say, look, people who are players who are close to management, you know, they, uh. they don't have to make the pace, you know, they don't have to always practice on the high level. They know uh. they have to play, you know. I mean, they knew. Now they know they don't play. I mean, uh. I, I don't care about this, really. Uh. And uh, it's not it's not easy to to push this through, mm. but I, I I do this. Mm. Okay. My second That's question is like, uh, what do you think? Because it seems like whatever you want to implement is kind of difficult at the like the way they think because they feel like they are the top. They playing for the Ghana Premier League. So if you were like if. Legon City comes to you and say they want you to help. Let's say they're going to start an academy because I think that would be easier to build that mentality and then that tactical knowledge. What is your idea about it? Do you think that's a good thing? You, you know, I, I'll tell you something. Yeah. It's now, again, principle of this business. You know. mm. you, one way is, you know, to invest as less as possible mm. and to earn big money. Uh, and another thing is to invest and earn big, 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 big money. You know. I agree. Yeah, I agree with you. You understand? If you uh, if you invest more, then you can earn more from football, you know, from selling uh, players and stuff like this. You know. And um, you you have to you have to clean up the philosophy of this with a with a club, you know. Uh, but they they must uh, they must tell honestly uh, what they really want, what what uh, are their possibilities. You understand? Uh, because if they if they just you know you have many clubs you know we will do this we will do that you know and they talk about we will do this that uh, five years but never happened something <laughs> yeah yeah and this is this is the story this is the story you know you, 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 as a coach uh, you can explain them you can tell them but it's so it always depends of really what 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 those guys in the club are you know uh. and that's uh, what they really want what they're ready to do that's yeah. it. Thank you so much. Faisal, that's, that's it for me. Thank you. Eddie. Thank you for thank you. Eddie, go ahead with your question, Eddie. Yeah. My question is that I have been a primary school teacher for quite a time now. I have a passion for football. What I do is I watch a lot of games, pre match, post match analysis, but I really want to get into coaching. How do I go about it? That's my question. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, wait. Uh, you you told me what you did, what you are doing, and you want to yeah, start said, a coach. Or yes, please. I want yes, to yes. start. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's, uh, you are confident that you that you that you that you could uh, implement something something what you what you really your idea your your you know uh, your vision. The most important thing is that you have idea and vision. If you don't have it, it's very, it's very delicate. Because I'm telling you, unfortunately, lots of players, lot of people, they go in this business. In this business, I don't say in this Jew. This is for me, Jew. But you know, they go in this business because people generate a lot of money. And if you have, as a first thing, what you idea, what you have in your head, if it's money, you will always, always be disappointed. You know. You'll always be disappointed, believe me. But you know, if you if you go in this job, then you must have a vision and idea. And if you if you are sure that you can implement this, then simply you know I cannot give you the best tip. Simply try to talk to the people somewhere that they give you one team, and and do it. That's all. That's 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 all. I I, I mean I. I don't know how how to give, or if you have a, some some somewhere some friend, you know, some that you start as a coach assistant first, you know, to to get a little bit experience. If you are not sure that you can do this, you know, like yourself, uh, this this is uh, this must be must be your personal decision, you know. No, no one can can take you this decision away. You know, you have to make it. But this is the way, and uh, or, or with, one, with one friend, you know, who. Some person you know who is ready to take you with him, you know, to do who has a place, you know, for coach assistant, or you know, you you go to the straight to the people from from club and say, listen, I want to do this. 
then you have to have to tell them this confident. I am ready. I want to do this. I'll show you. And then you know, when you get a club, then 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 you have to swim. You know, that's, then then you are in the cold water, <laughs> and you have to start to swim. That's it. Because you know, I mean, you understand. Uh, you know who is Otto Rehagel? That's one very, very, very famous German coach. You know, he had always, you know, some some little, little sayings like he told to one player, he told him, "Listen, my boy, I can give you the horse, but you have to ride yourself." You understand? Is this? You can you you have to get get this this club, and then you are responsible. You understand? And that's why it's your decision. You have to see, am I really ready to do something? Or is maybe better that I start from the second row? Yeah. Like coach assistant. Sounds good for an hour. So I want to keep it within an hour. Um, thanks again for, for responding to our invitation. Really appreciate this. Uh, we wish you all the best of luck with Legon Cities. Hopefully, um, you know, game resume back in, in Ghana soon. Uh, we'll be cheering for you and, and wishing you all the best. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.